Did you know that you can add a profanity filter in OBS that automatically removes all the swear words in real time? What the f yes, that is now possible with this awesome plugin, and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, what we need to do is get this plugin called Clean Stream. It will be linked down in the description below. All you have to do, click on this link, and then you will see the download button right over here. If you see, check out the latest releases button, click on it right there, and then you will see it open up the GitHub page. So over here, you'll see a bunch of different things. Obviously, we're looking for the latest version. Current latest version is 0.9. If you scroll down right here, you'll see a bunch of different versions. So keep in mind that they have the Mac OS version and they have a bunch of Windows versions. So it depends on what GPU you have, you need to install a certain version. So they have a CL Blast, which is a AMD GPU version. They have a CPU, which is the one that you can use without a GPU. So if you don't want to use GPU or you don't have one, you can use the CPU version, and then they have CUDA 11 and CUDA 12 for NVIDIA GPUs. Keep in mind that CUDA 11 is the RTX 20 series and 10 series, and then if you have 30 series or 40 series GPU, you're gonna go for CUDA 12 right here. So it might be a bit confusing, but if you get the point, if you get the basics, it should be pretty simple. So I have a 40 series GPU from NVIDIA, so I'm gonna download the CUDA 12.2.0 installer. So I click on this, it downloads the file right here. I install it. And now I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to actually use the plugin. All right. So now that you've installed and open up your OBS, it is a very basic install. You just have to go next, next. It's very easy. So once you've done that, you go right here and you will need to set up the filter to one of the audio devices. So you can add it to any source you really want as long as it plays audio. It can be a browser source. It can be a game source. It can be pretty much anything as long as it has audio playing outside of it. So I want to add it to my microphone, but as like I said, you can add it to, for example, a Windows source. If you're watching YouTube videos with cuss words, it can remove those as well. Go to the microphone, right click, go to filters right here, and then you will see the plus sign where you can actually add the filter itself. So the filter is called Clean Stream Audio Filter. You click on it, you go to OK, and now we just add it. It's pretty basic. All right, so the first thing that we have is the detect word. So you have a bunch of words that are already put in, a bunch of swear words. If you want to add more of them, you can just continue them right over here. If you, there are some that you are saying often or that are said often in the videos you're watching, you can just add them right here. So the replace sound is basically the sound that you want to replace the cuss word with. I have the silent setup. You can add a beep, a horn, or even the external sound from your computer right here if you want to do that. I just want to add silence, so I'll keep it as silence. And then you have the whisper model. So this is what AI language model it will use to find the cuss words to replace them. The basic one is a tiny English, and this one usually works the best. If you are having issues where it's not detecting them fast enough, you can go with the bigger ones, for example, small, medium, large, or even base English. Keep in mind that the higher you go, it will require more PC resources. So don't just go with base and expect it not to lag. It will definitely lag. It uses a lot of PC resources. So as long as it's working fine, you can keep the tiny English one, no problem. Language, obviously I have it English. If you want to set up another language, there's a bunch of other languages right over here. And then you have advanced settings. If you want to add any other advanced settings, I have no idea what any of this stuff means. So I'm not going to touch that and break the plugin potentially. So leave it as is. And that's basically it. Now it will use the AI to detect the cuss words and remove them. For example, if I say, or it will use AI to remove them live. So one more thing that you need to do as well, if you are using it, for example, for a video or a game capture. So let's say I'm using it for Chrome or for any other source. You need to add a filter that is called render delay. So the plugin itself adds a 1.5 second delay on any source it is being filtered on. If you want to make it so there's no delay, you need to add another 1.5 second delay on top of that source. So for example, if I did set it up for this, I can just go and add the delay three times for 500 milliseconds because there is you cannot go above 500 on the filter itself. You'll need to add three 
500 millisecond render delays. So now the audio will be perfectly in sync and you will have no issues. And that's basically it. Now you have a real time profanity filter using AI, which is absolutely amazing. If you did like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.